I am children. Good morning. In the last video in the YouTube, I have seen very nice comments you have given. Thank you to all of you. So in this video, I will explain you the chapter square and square root. Square root. There are two methods to find the square root. One is prime factorization method. Another is long division method. Prime factorization method very easy one. One bit I will do. You can understand by finding the factors only. But the most important is the long division method. It is little difficult also. In class ten also, it is used. One chapter is the remainder and factor theorem. In that chapter, this long division method is also used. Till now, some students will ask in class ten also they are doing the mistakes. Long division method. So nicely understood this method. So first, I am doing one sum on prime factorization method. Then I will do long division method. So one digit, one number I am giving you. How to find it by prime factorization method? Let the number be one seven six four. One seven six four. This number square root we have to find by which method? By prime factorization method. I have told you. This one we have to find the factors. Which factors? The prime factors only. So which number it is divisible first? Last digit unit digit is four. It is divisible by two. The whole number is divisible by two. So divide by two. Two eight is sixteen. Two eight is sixteen. Two two is four. Again it is divisible by two. Two four is eight. Two four is eight. One. Again you see four plus four eight plus one nine. So nine is divisible by three. So whole number is divisible by three. Three one is three. Then three four is twelve. Then three seven is twenty one. Correct the division. Now again you see four plus one five. Five plus seven twelve. So twelve is divisible by three. So again it is divisible by three. The whole number three four is twelve. Then twenty seven three nine is twenty seven. So now forty nine. Forty nine you can say which number is divisible? Seven. So seven. Now again you divide by seven. One. So what are the factors? One seven six four. The factors are the square root of one seven six four two into two into three into three into seven into seven. You make it pair. This two one pair. This two three one pair. This Two sevens one pair. Now we have to from one one pair one number you have to take. From this two two one two this three two or uh, two three we we'll take one three. Then two seven one seven. So now this is the square root of one seven six four. So what two into three six six into seven forty two. You got the square root by prime factorization method. Very easy one prime factorization method. But now I'll do the long division method. Different <coughs> three digit, four digit, five digit, like different types I'll do because it's very important and also little difficult. So understand properly. Pass number I am taking to find by long division method. Nine hundred sixty one. Nine hundred sixty one. So in long division method, what we will do? First, we have to make it pair. How to make pair? From right side, from right side to left side, we have to make one one pair by taking two digits. So sixty one, one pair by taking two digits. So what left? One number only left. So this one number is one pair. So now we have to divide first with nine, not the whole number. Nine we have to divide. So here we have to take the number which square is equal to nine or less than nine. So suppose two two is four, it is less than nine. Three three is nine, so it is equal to nine. So we can take three. If we we'll take four, four four is sixteen. It is greater than nine. We cannot take. So we have to take three. Three three is nine. It is divisible zero. Then which number we have multiplied? In the position we have written the same number we have to add here. So three plus three six. Now the next pair you bring down here zero you got next pair is sixty one. Now here you 
think that this is a double digit number but it is a 10 digit number unit digit no number is there it is blank here so we have to write a number what number you have to write the same number we have to multiply suppose one i am writing one we have to multiply so like this we have to multiply up to you will get 61 or nearly less than 61 we get not more than 61 so if one i am multiplying one one ja one one six ja six so 61 you are getting or not so you multiply here one so you write in the quotient one so here multiply one then what will get 61 now it is divisible so you will subtract what will get zero now the square root of 961 is 31 so you can write square root of 961 is equal to 31 this is the long division method another one I am doing a four digit number suppose I am taking number suppose 4761 4761 this is a 4 digit number 3 digit number I have done like this the same procedure you follow from right side it will make pair 61 1 pair 47 1 pair now you divide first with 47 so what number you have to take here the square of that number you have to take 4 4 ja, suppose 2 2 ja, 4 it is less than 47 3 3 ja, 9 less than 47 4 4 is 16, less than 47, 5 5 is 25, less than 6 6 is 36, not 7 7 is 49, it is greater than 47, so what will take? 6, 6 6 is 36, so what will it? 7 minus 6 1, 4 minus 3 1, so what number you have to multiply here, question, written, the same number you have to add, I have told you, 12, so you think that this is a 3 digit number, this is 100 place, 10 place, unit place is vacant, blank. So we have to write a number so that it is coming nearly of this number or equal to this number. So what left here? 11. If 1 also you will put, what you are getting? 121, but 11 is there. It is more than 11. So what we will do? Next pair we have to bring. So 61 we have to bring here. Understood? If 61 you will bring, the total number is what? 1161. Now, if you will 12 is here. So, what will write in the unit place? So, it will come 1161. So, 1 the not coming. 2 you will multiply also. 4, 4, 2, 244 coming. It is not less than, very less. Then 1, 2, 3, 3. It will coming 3, 6, 9. It is also very less. 1, 2, 4, 1, 9, 4, 96, it is also less, 1, 2, 5, 6, 25, it is also less, directly I can put the number, I have the idea, but for to show you, to understand you, 1 by 1 number I am multiplying, so then next 6, Six to the twelve plus three fifteen one then six to seven fifty six it is also less then seven fourteen eighteen one eight hundred eighty nine it is also less so these numbers are not coming next left up to seven we have taken now we have to take eight 64, 6, 16, plus 6, 22, 2, 10, it is also coming less, now last number left, 1, 2, 9, so 9, 9, 81, 8, 9, 2, 18, plus 8, it will be 26, 2, 9, 1, 9, plus 2, 11, so coming or not, so 9 here you put, 9 here you have, this one, then here in the question write 9, you will multiply 9, we are getting 1161. So it's after we will get 0. So it is total divisible. So now the square root of 4761 is equal to your 69. Understood?
so how the coming so one by one number i am multiplying to show you but directly also we can multiply i have the idea by doing if will more and more do you will practice directly also one number you can put how to put just the idea i am giving you suppose here the unit is it is one so here what will multiply so that you see one is coming or not three you will multiply three three is a nine coming not coming four four is a sixteen unit is it is six not coming five five is a twenty five unit is it is five not coming six is a thirty six unit is it is six not coming then seven seven is a forty nine nine is there unit is it but here is one not coming eight eight is a sixty four unit is it four but one here not coming nine nine is a eighty one unit is it is one here also one so by orally on your own mind you have to think and directly also you can prove by doing more and more practice you can do but now in the beginning you multiply each number and find it understood this is a four digit number i have done now i am doing a five digit number to find the square root so next five digit number is 1 1 4 4 9 This is the five-digit number one one four four nine. We have to find the square root. One one bigger number I am doing. First three-digit number done. Then four digit now five-digit entry. Just the same procedure you have to follow. From right side you make it pair forty-nine one pair fourteen one pair. What left one only left. So first we have to divide with one. So what you have to take the number so that square also one or less than one one. So one, one ja one division zero. The same number you have to add here two. Now it is a two digit number. Unit digit is ten, but it is a ten digit number is there, but unit digit now there. So next pair you bring fourteen. If unit digit one also if you are putting, so what you are getting twenty one, which is greater than fourteen. So it is not divisible. So what you will do? Next pair you have to bring forty nine. You bring. At a time, if two pair you are bringing, so what will do here in the divisor one zero you put in the quotient one zero you put because at a time two pair you are bringing down. If one pair you will divide, not required to put zero. At a time two pair you are bringing because fourteen. If one you are putting also twenty one coming, it is more than fourteen. So it is not divisible. So divide another pair I have brought. So the number is one four four nine. But here. Two is there, so at a time two pair you are bringing. So you have to put one zero here. Here in the quotient also you have to put one zero. Now you see which number is divisible. I have to give you little hints. Here in the unit place nine. So here uh, what will multiply so that unit place will be nine. Suppose three. Three three is a nine. Unit place nine coming. You have to take it. Two zero three into three. Nine. Sorry zero. Six, so six zero nine coming, but here it is one four four nine not coming. Then you go to the next number four 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 is sixteen. Six is there in its place, but here is nine not possible. Then you take seven 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 forty nine nine is there in its place. Here also in its place nine. So you multiply, you see, check it two zero seven into seven 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 is forty nine seven zero zero plus four. Forty nine seven two is a forty. So coming one four four nine. So what will multiply here then seven. So here also multiply seven. You have to add here. So it will multiply. You will get one four four nine. So it will subtract. What will get zero. So it is divisible now. So if the number proceed again, you have to add this seven plus seven. So the number becomes two hundred forty. Again, the next pair you have to bring down. If more digit is given to you, but it is totally divisible, so not required to do more. You keep it like this. The answer you got hundred seven. So the square root of one four four nine is equal to here hundred seven by long division method. Understood? Different digits I have taken and down three digits, four digits. Then here five digits I have taken. So I do the procedure is same. The same way you have to do. How many digits it will give? Six digits, ten digits will give. The same procedure you have to follow and you have to do. This is the way to do the long division method. 
Suppose question will go up to if it is here it is divisible zero is it? If it is not divisible, the remainder may be there. Remainder what left? You keep it that one like this. Understood? It is divisible zero you are getting. If it is not divisible, lastly no number is there, only remainder is there. Here it is not divisible. So you keep the remainder like this. So this is <coughs> means up to certain point you will get the answer. Understood? So clear about square root by long division method. Hope oh, you can understand it. Still if you have doubt, you can ask me in my personal WhatsApp number. Okay. Thank you.